morning, everyone. I'm State Representative Dan Ugasti from the 65th District, joined today by my colleague Wayne Wilhauer from the 110th. Here to talk to you about the RISE Working Group and the work we've been doing. For the last two years, I have been leading the RISE Working Group within the House Republican Caucus. What RISE is, in case people aren't aware or weren't here when we first introduced it, it is the Reigniting Illinois Strong Economy Working Group. And our purpose is solely this. We're here to find opportunities where Illinois can take advantage of its assets and grow its economy at a better rate than what it is currently doing. We look to keep opportunity deserts out of Illinois. Right now, there are far too many, and a state such as Illinois shouldn't have any. We look to do this by bringing lower taxes in, uh, addressing things such as overregulation, as well as other things that will help stimulate our economy. And for the last two years, I have been here talking to you about lack of growth in Illinois' economy. It has either been absent or we are lagging the rest of the nation. But it's not just the House Republicans discussing these topics. You're seeing it everywhere these days about the demise of Chicago and the state of Illinois. You're reading how the once high and mighty are falling. Last week, it was an article in the Wall Street Journal. Also, you've seen the report from Moody's. This is the company our state hires to do both our credit ratings and analyze our economy. And wherever it is, its conclusions are the same. Illinois has seen better days, but that doesn't mean our days are over yet. The problems we have are the same we've been talking to you about. Overtaxation, these are identified by these reports and in these articles. Overregulation, high cost of doing business, and when you think of that, think about lawsuits. Declining population and poor energy policy are contributing to it. And we'll continue to do so if we don't do something about it now and change the direction we're heading. In an effort to help solve these problems, House Republicans have filed bills. We file bills to lower taxes. As you can see by the one at the bottom there, we have a bill that will lower property taxes or, or help provide property tax relief up to $82.5 billion over the next 21 years. We're looking to reform BIPA, lower regulations, and decrease workers' compensation costs while still protecting our workers. And these just name a few. Yet, for reasons that can only be explained as political purposes, None of these bills are getting hearings in committee, none. And none have ever seen the light of day on the House floor. Ladies and gentlemen, what we do in Springfield shouldn't solely be about political power and parties. Instead, it's supposed to be primarily about what's in the best uh, interest of the people of Illinois. I'm not suggesting that the Democrats, being the supermajority, should just allow Republicans to do what they want. I'd prefer it. I think we'd help improve the state, but at least work with us. At the very least, work with us to improve the state. The Democrats have been in control of this state for 24 years. And what is clear is that by running the state on their own, that is, their ideas and not ours, without any balance or allowing substantive Republic ideas to move forward, the state of Illinois does not do well. And we're just going to get worse with time. So what is the answer? Well, the people of Illinois must demand that their current leaders start working across the aisle. And if they don't, they need to vote them out of office. But that's only going to happen if we get help from all of you, the press. We need you to ask the questions of both Republicans and Democrats that are needed as to why Illinois' economy is not growing at the pace of the rest of the nation. Why we as one of the top business centers in the past, are now lagging the rest of the nation. Report on what has happened, and then we need to get the public to pay attention and hold their elected officials accountable, each and every one of us. And if the current leaders are not going to work with the other side, I say that we need to ensure re more Republicans get to the General Assembly. As we sit here today, Illinois still has a lot going for it. Again, if you look at Moody's report, it's right in there, and I'm going to quote it. Illinois has what it needs to remain a top business center. 
if it can solve the problems that are eroding its edge. So let's not let our lead as the transportation hub of the nation, a top business center, our infrastructure, and what I believe is arguably the best workforce in the nation, go to waste. Thank you.